Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cologne, Germany. This is the Phoebe Your Basket. Group B, game day five in the battle between France and Slovenia. Well, this is a game between two European heavyweights. Both of these countries of both of these countries, of course, played at the Olympics. France finishing runners-up, and uh, I see France taking on Slovenia. Already, Lithuania winning over Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Hungary wrapping things up against Germany tonight. So that win for Lithuania puts them through to the knockout round. And they're currently up at the top, but of course those standings will change. But if Slovenia win, they clinch first place in the group. If France win and Germany fall to Hungary, then France uh, could climb into first place. But I think the main idea for all of these teams is to advance because uh, these teams are going to be tough to beat in that next round, the next couple of rounds. Uh, I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor. And Mike, as we look at Luka Doncic and Slovenia, we see that Mike Tovey is not dressed out. Tonight for Slovenia, remember at the start of the game last night, the jump ball, he landed on the official's foot. We remember kind of rolled it. And I'm guessing this is a little bit precautionary, although maybe it's, it's a, little, uh, a little swelling after overnight because he did come back and play uh, for a lot of that game. And Gerson Yabiseli is not going to be in the lineup, it appears, as well for France. Well, you said it, Jeff. Both of these teams are progressing to the knockout stages. That's a big accomplishment. And they want to make sure that their key guys are rested, healthy, and ready to go. Uh, this is an important game. These two teams have a recent history, but they'll try to play next man up mentality and, and be the best they can with what they have. And of course, that recent history, if you want to talk about the most important recent history, you talk about the Olympic semifinals. And Lithuania, excuse me, uh, Slovenia were about to reach the final with Klimin Prepolic moving in for the layup, only for Nick Batum to pull off one of the greatest plays in his career, coming out of nowhere to pin the shot on the backboard and put France in the final. Right, you know, Slovenia was such a wonderful story last summer, getting to the Olympics for the first time, how fantastic Luka Doncic played, the whole team. Uh, they, they dreamed of a medal, but again, France was really, really good at the Olympics, and they got the better of them in that game. And they have been able to uh, stay afloat during, you know, in these troubled seas of the FIBA Eurobasket. They started with a tough loss to Germany, did France, uh, but they have battled back, and here they are. So, pause for the national anthems.
France and Slovenia getting ready to get it on. And of course, no Nick Batum this time, no Nando De Colo, two hugely important players for France. And in this game, no Gershon Yabusele as well. Uh, so it is a different looking France from the team that beat Slovenia at the Olympics. And of course, no Mike Toby, as we said, uh, because he is resting that ankle. Uh, referees for tonight, a good crew, Alexander Glizic in the middle of the crew chief, Marius Cirleon from Romania, Glizic from Serbia, and Georgios Porcinidis from Greece. And for Slovenia, well, they pretty much made a loud statement in their win over Germany last night. Luka Doncic was just on fire, uh, just really controlling everything. And also Goran Dragic into the starting lineup. So he stays in the, in the, the starting lineup along with Jakub Blazic, Dimets, Chanchar and Doncic, Samar Rupnik, Nicholas Prepolic, and Muric coming off the bench along with Zoran Dragic. So our focus guy, I think I've seen him play before. His name is what? Luka Doncic. And again, when one part of his game is perimeter shooting is not maybe where it needs to be, he's finding a way to impact the game in so many other ways. Defensive rebounding, posting up, the pick and roll making his teammates better. He's a fantastic weapon for coach Sasha Sekulic. So 36 points scored the most ever by a Slovenia player at a TV Eurobasket. That was last night against Greece. Can he do it two days in a row? Well, we are about to see. And again, if Slovenia win, they finish in first. Amat Enbai, Evan Fournier, Andrew Albasi, uh, Terry Tarpe, and Rudy Gobert in the starting five. Okobo, Luawu, Cabrou, Ertel, the star last night, Maladon, Poirier, and Mustafa Fowl uh, on the bench for coach. Vincent Collet and, and Rudy Gobert played a little bit better last night. Yes, he did. And what's interesting about this matchup is the French front line has shown it can be a strength to this team. Gobert starting at the center. Again, established a post and did some good things yesterday. But now this, you know, the injury to Toby, you've got Dimech and then you've got undersized bigs. So how will the size of Gobert, the size of Fall, and that front line impact this game, it may be a bigger factor for France than initially anticipated. So as we get to the countdown real quickly, so Demet's in the starting five for Slovenia and Amat Enbai, who hasn't played that much, but is a KG veteran. And uh, of course he was, he played big minutes and started for the French team that finished third at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. And when it comes to positioning, I honestly don't think these, these guys care who they're gonna play in the round of 16. These are, you know, the teams that are coming out of this group and you just look at the star power on the screen here and you understand this has been a brutal group and uh, they're going to fancy their ch fancy their chances really against anybody. Yeah, that's kind of luck of the draw depending on what's going on in the other groups. Teams that survive here know they're going to be battle tested. Again, coaches doing their best to manage these injury situations here down the stretch, make sure they're really ready for those knockout rounds. But again, we can expect Mbai to be in this lineup to match up with Luka Doncic. Again, that could be a, a defensive game plan substitution. Mike and, Toby having to watch tonight. Yeah, you know, and again, not the place he wants to be, but he'll trade this game for the knockout game availability. And I think the same thing for Yabasili on the French side. Good late afternoon from Cologne, Germany, folks. We are underway here. The battle between France and Slovenia. Two European heavyweights trading blows. 
in front of another electric crowd here in this fantastic venue. And Evan Fournier drives into the paint and scores. And can Luka Doncic have a second consecutive huge game for Slovenia? I think everybody wants to know that, but you never know. Goran Dragic might go off for Slovenia. And we see Tarpe drawing the defensive assignment of Doncic. That's outstanding for the, the great story from France. Well, Goran Dragic has been off the mark just a little bit with his shooting. That's Tarpe chasing, running at him in the corner. Here's the bounce pass, Fournier, and puts it up and in. Great start for Fournier. Love what Collet's done here. A little slice action uh, for the first two plays. The first one, they got a triple screen for Fournier, and they're a backdoor cut. Fournier is so good with his shot, but man, when he drives, he is just as exciting. Here is Doncic. And two free throws coming. So again, Doncic draws a switch. You cannot get on his back if you're Gobert. You've got to keep him in front of you, run with him, and try to challenge at the rim. Doncic is so good when he gets the defender on his back. You don't think you want a goal interference on that, do you? That's what they were asking for. Okay. He will pretty much complain on every play. He, he <laughs> is, let's, let's call it working the officials. He yeah. is. He's an known. expert. He's an expert, and he's known for work on the refs. So Luka Doncic misses the first free throw. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's the most exciting player in this tournament, in my opinion. Single-handedly impacts the game in so many ways, elevates his teammates, and he's really just straight, straight up fun to watch. That's one of two. And runs to the other end. So I'm fairly certain Polet has uh, come up with a game plan tonight that's going to be exciting to watch. Triple screen again. Tarpe from the right. There's the follow, Rudy Gobert. Great start for the French offense. And Doncic drives in, misses. Good job, Gobert knocking it away to Mbai. Alvesi. Lazic now running. Dragic gets into the paint. Fournier held his ground. Fournier over to Tarpe. Out of seat. And by from the right corner. At the back of the rim. Oh, Doncic charges into maybe the best defensive player in this tournament, Terry Tarpe. If this is the best group, he's definitely the best defensive player. Tarpe did a great job here. Look at him get into the driving lane, squares up Doncic, accepts the, the, the contact, draws the charge. Really great job from Tarpe stepping up to the challenge here early in the game. Look at Doncic. probably believes is the best player in the world and wants to be treated like it. 100%. He's got that self-confidence because of his performance. But a lot of times he'll channel his energy into the game, impacting the game in different ways. France puts the early lead. And to Gobert. And a charge called on Gobert. So timeout is going to be called by, or no, substitution rather. It's off a foul is going to come into the game for Gobert. Slovenia are really good themselves in stepping in front of people and drawing charges. Goran Dragic as the low man recognized the short roll, got right in position, and drew the charge. That's giving up your body and alert team defense. Try it. Then Doncic steps back. Shot looks a little flat from this perspective, Jeff. A little bit more arc on it. 
Fournier for three. And don't forget this guy. He doesn't want all the, the talk to be about Slovenia and Doncic. Ooh. Tripped up. Doncic, two shots coming for the superstar. And he's going to walk gingerly here. Watch him. Oh. He definitely kind of stepped on the left foot of Albacy. This is Fournier. We've seen him drive. And As you look at that play, Blazic, who's an outstanding defender, went under the screen. You cannot go under the screen. You've got to direct him into the screen and knife over the top to stay connected and contest any pull-up shot. Fournier just needs a little space. A little wincing for Doncic. And again, let's recognize the fact Slovenia played the late game, very intense game, very emotional game last night. Big, big win. And now you've got to be ready again, re-energize yourself, get yourself emotionally ready for a game today against a very good opponent. Not easy to do. We see a little slow start. Jordan Dragic has checked into the game. Obviously, Carpe steps back and nails it. Well, he's not just playing D, folks. That shot, the three-pointer from Terry. I am the revelation of your basket, 2022 Tarpe. Again, a good ball fake, got his rhythm and buried the shot. That's a confidence builder for, for him to continue to work to impact the game. 12 to three, France on top of Slovenia. We've seen that shot numerous times in again, Cologne. Again, very good job. There's the backdoor cut for Fournier. Nice offense from Coach Collet running Fournier off the triple screen to start, getting the backdoor cut. And then here, the top pick and roll, Fournier. Blazic chooses to go under. He makes him pay. Really strong start for the experienced French team who a lot of people will consider underdogs in today's matchup. I really like what I saw in that Slovenia timeout, though. You could see the players working through the pick and roll coverages. They had a discussion, hey, what are we in here? This is supposed to be a show. They worked it out, and that's a sign of great team communication. Carpe trying to be a pest for Doncic. Horn Drag is going to back up. Albusi and fades. He shot better in the first few games did Horn Dragic, but in the last couple he hasn't shot as well. Triple screen again, baseline for Fournier. He is pulling up. The attention of Zorn Dragic impacted that, and here's Tarpe getting in front of Doncic, committing the foul. Doncic, such a strong defensive rebounder, and then the dribble bust out to trigger transition. Smart foul there from Tarpe, but now the, ne the next matchup. Luau Cabaru. Okay, here we are, sideline play. Look for Zoran Dragic to try to cut back door. Stagger double on the backside. Not there. Handoff. Dragic. Guarded by foul. Still will not drop. Albacy up to foul. Beats him down the court. He goes up and gets to the drop. Undersized five out here now for 
Slovenia. They'll try to take advantage of perimeter opportunities. And Edu Muric fouled while attempting the three. And Jeff, this is not a consistent three-point shooter you need to really run at. Not a smart no, play at all from Luau Cabarro. Just, just unnecessary. That's KYP, know your personnel, know the scouting report, who you're closing out hard, who you need to run off the line, who you're closing out short. That is a short closeout there, according to, I'm sure, the French coaching staff in game time. And Slovenia, because they're struggling a little bit, like nothing more than to get to the free throw line. Slovenia had a lot of really good basketball teams following the breakup of the former Yugoslavia. Obviously played at World Cups 2006, 2010. Uh, but they have really taken it to a different level with Doncic and Dragic. Hotel, outstanding last night. Gets it off to Fournier. He puts it up. Luau Cabarro and looking for a foul. Nothing called now. Dragic up ahead, leads the break, gets it off to his brother Zorin. That transition is something special from Slovenia. going to struggle to, uh, to guard foul. Yeah, he gets, gives away so much size as we see Dragic in transition. Draws the defender, perfect execution. Great pass for his brother. How many times have they done that in the backyard or some gym somewhere in Slovenia? Oh, good anticipation, Gordon Dragic. He just has such a great feeling for playing passing lanes and coming up with loose ball turnovers. And Blizic now is going to go have words with Sikulic. So I'm guessing he's warned him about coming out of his box. A foul again. Offensive foul on foul. Kind of hooked him. Cole upset because the baseline ref didn't make the call, but Porcinitas. Look. Now we're even. Warning, warning. Yeah, that's a good call. He hooked him with his elbow. Completely. That's, from this angle on our side, it's very visible. But the other side, you couldn't see that. I don't think anyway. Doncic into the corner. Murich. Chanchar rebound. Hotel. He's played some, made some great passes. And Luau Kevaru loses it. And Zorn Dragic with the reverse. Great pass from Doncic, drew the defense. Beautiful bounce pass. Again, out of the strike zone in the paint. Second strong finish from Zoran in the paint. Second strong finish from Zoran Dragic in transition. Well, passes it back to Mbai. Slovenia, a little comeback now. Under three minutes to go in the first quarter. Doncic steps back for three. Good. Poirier is going to check in. Remember, no Yabiselli today. 
Ertel. The foul to the corner. Luwawu Kamaru runs out. Doncic again, the step back. Ertel, oh, it's beautiful play by Ertel. Really seems to be finding his spot in this France team now. Great finish, pushing it coast to coast. And Doncic fouled. By Ertel. Did a nice job there using fall as traffic to get to the rim. That's a great sign for Slovenia. Luka could hit some threes, make the game a little bit easier, but here he goes to the free throw line. Slovenia fans chanting MVP, most valuable player as Doncic steps to the line. The Gordon Dragic says, hold on a second. I was the MVP in 2017. But look at the lineup for Slovenia now. You've got Dragic, Dragic, Prepolic, Muric, and Doncic. Very small lineup here. And on the other side, Fall and Poirier in the front line for France. So we've got big versus little for the last 145. I guess Doncic is going to guard a big. He's got that as well as Edo Muric. And they survive with that smaller lineup. And Umerich gets in and gets the layup. <laughs> what, was, what was that about? He slipped and fell as oh. he's trying to get back and just laid on top of the ball. Here's a nice play from Doncic. Sets up Moritz. Slices right to the rim for the finish. And let's see if we see it. Nope. He recovered a fumble. I don't, I don't know if he slipped or if he just jumped on it. <laughs> so again, Murich on fall, giving away inches at the five, and Doncic now cross-matched on Poirier. Let's see if France will run one of their post-up plays to attack either. And off to Poirier, he misses, but Murich hits Poirier on the head. Again, the Greek referee making this call from the wing. So foul goes out. And by back in. 107 to go, first quarter. And Evan Fournier keeps pouring in the points. Luau Cabarro is going out. Now he's going to stay in. Mumbai draws Doncic now. Poirier, that's a tough assignment for him. Oh. Doncic goes up and scores. Such smart offense from Coach Sekulic. They hunt the matchup. They bring the pick and roll with Poirier, and they get the switch they want, and there's the isolation. Just intelligent basketball from Slovenia. Ortel pulls up. Last night, they relied so much on this man's creativity, and he delivered. Here's the switch again. 
Corey this time has to guard him as a three-point shooter, and he can't stop him. Final seconds ticking off the clock. And the lob for Poirier and a foul called. And Slovenia has to be careful. They don't want a technical. So three fouls on Edu Maric. Without Mike Toby, unavailable due to the injury, rest. Ziga Dematch is your big physical front line. They tried to get a lot of minutes out of Toby as an undersized big. Unfortunately, he's collected three fouls here in the first quarter. Preplich heaves it. It could be. Oh, that was a good look. Wouldn't put it past him. Uh, the Slovenia players certainly chirping away. They lead it 20 to 19 at the end of one over France. We can take a look at the shooting stats. Again, the key number here, two three-pointers made out of seven for Slovenia, but the two are made by Luka Doncic. That's a great sign that he's starting to heat up from the outside. Really well-designed offense to start the game, bringing Fournier off some triple screens, getting him a backdoor cut, top of the key, pick and roll. Fournier starts the first quarter strong with eight points. Again, the front line for France can be a factor in this game today without Toby and the limited depth for Slovenia. It's really hard to assess or know where France is as a team. It just feels like they're still searched. They're, they're not entirely certain what they are. Well, that, that's not necessarily a bad thing. They're trying to figure out their identity. They know they have a scorer in Fournier. They know, or I'm sorry, in Fournier. They know they have quality right, on the protection. front line. Yes, size. They can match up with any front line here at Eurobasket. They have a player, Yabasili. Yeah, scanning the barcode, folks, for courtside 1891 in your smartphone for the stream schedules and scores. To continue that thought, they have Yabasili, who they can count on at the four. Tarpe defensively, the point guard position, they need more of a distributor, playmaker, and in the last couple games, Hertel has given very good effort in that area. And it seems to be more comfortable coming off the bench. There's Dragic, Zoran Dragic. Good possession, teamwork, short roll, mid roll decision, open three for Slovenia to start the quarter. Hotel, offensive foul. So, Poirier set the screen. Made solid contact, but was moving a little bit. Again, this is where when you have a player like Valanchunas or Nurkic, you can really try to put the ball in the post against the undersized lineup. We'll see who can establish the post for France without Yabaselli in the game. Doncic up, crossed him up. Poirier comes back, but it's too late. Different type of scoring game so far for Doncic today, using the three as a weapon. Embire answers. And that's a great sign for France to get some contributions from different players. Doncic again. He's feeling it. <laughs> he, he looks up. It's the big smile that we're just so used to seeing for him. Mike, 19 points. It's incredible, isn't it? 
And he just has so much talent. Yesterday we see him just pressure the rim and hit tough shot after tough shot. Today, these are the, the Luka Doncic bombs that we're so used to seeing in the Dallas Maverick uniform and that really carried Slovenia to the Olympics last summer. Steps back again this time with Fournier on him and he's short. And the ball goes off of Fournier's hands. It's almost as if France have lost their concentration a little bit. Well, again, Luca does that to you because you start to get rattled. Like, how do we stop this guy when he gets hot? But again, they've got to take care of the basketball and be efficient on offense. Doncic. Now, Zoran Dragic. His pass intercepted, though, by Ertel. Tomar Ertel. He takes it all the way. Boy, he just reads the game so beautifully, doesn't he? And that's too easy. You've got to stop the ball in transition. So here France is in the hard show pick and roll coverage now to try to oh, stop Doncic. Doncic, he takes it all the way. He's got a chance for a three-point play. Again, we say stop the ball at one end, stop the ball at the other end. Doncic right to the rim, just like last night, pressuring and finishing. So if last night... 36 points was the most points ever scored by a Slovenian at a Eurobasket. He's already got 21. Well, he was not hot yesterday. He, it was hard work for him, posting up, driving and hitting tough shots. Right now, the three-point shot has opened up his game. And again, now you see him as a three-dimensional scorer, three-level scorer, scoring at the rim, the mid-level, and beyond the arc. That's when he's really tough to guard. Gobert comes back in. Poirier takes a seat. Five-point lead for Luka and Slovenia. Carpe out to Akoba who's come in for the first time. Akobo, oh, looks good. It is. Well, he really needs to consistently hit that jump shot to help France. And really good teamwork to solve the puzzle of the Slovenia defense there. Good ball movement and a big shot. Prepolic puts it up and banks it in. Beautiful. Again, so much attention on Doncic at the top of the key. Quick pass, and he sliced through the defense, got through the first, the shrink, and banked it in. Great shot there by Prepolic. Fourth assist for Doncic, and here's the Kobo. Quick pass, but just a little bit behind Gobert. Drag it. Ziga Dimech is so big inside. Here's Doncic, one on one against Poirier. The step back jump shot, so comfortable. And he's in that zone. We saw Ertel a little frustrated on that turnover with Gobert. And those two kind of. Having a little conversation. Great play by Kobo, and now Ertel reads it to Imbai. Boy, Ertel is just playing majestic right now on the court. If he could put in this type of performance every night, he is one of the most dynamic players in the game. Skillful, smart. Again, he's making the effort to distribute the ball, set his teammates up, and that's exactly what France needs. Timeout, Slovenia. Dash for Jogo. 
Daš dole to žogo. Ko on dobi? Greš prle tule in narediš blok. Again, that's such a tough matchup for any player. But when Doncic has that step back shot going, scoring at all levels, so difficult to stop. So 22 points, four three-pointers. Still have 6.16 to go in the first half, but how, you know, France do not seem uh, overly worried because they've been able to charge back and make this a two-point game. Doncic uh, is going to get his points, even if it's these tough three-pointers. Here he is, Carpe, Mr. Defense with the steal. Great defense from Carpe reading the game. Pass to Carpe again, gets it to Mbai. Short. And by talking about he thought he was hit at the other end. Couldn't see it from our angle. Here's their sideline play again. Watch for the back door from Zoran. There it is. And Zoran Dragic misses the layup. Okobo clearly feeling it tonight. Having his best game at this FIBA Euro basket and maybe all summer. France back in front. Eli Okobo for a, a bit of an X factor tonight. Or would he be an O factor? <laughs> an Okobo factor. <laughs> oh boy. Luca just keeps pouring him in. 24 points. Nice, nice pass. And Zigadimet fouls Rudy Gobert. So Ertel and Gobert on the same page. Right to the rim, put Gobert under the rim, put him in jail, easy to. But Hertel made a beautiful pass there, roll and replace situation as they lifted out the backside in by. For France, Coach Collet, I know he's saying, Rudy, dunk that ball. Two hand strong power dunk at the rim. Just don't hang on the rim. We don't need a delay. So Ertel, great minutes, now on the bench. Obviously comes back in. Ertel goes out with four points, three assists, a couple of rebounds. And Gobert just makes one of two. And again, that's why you want the dunk. Might even have a chance for a three-point play. Thirty-three, thirty-two. France with now fourteen fouls. Oh, it should be thirty-three apiece. Here's Doncic. Oh! Are you kidding me? It's like he's in his backyard, backyard, in the driveway. If he has one, he is just well. He's not from this planet. What a trick shot that was. Gobert goes back. Doncic, meanwhile, 27. <laughs> Every time you think you've seen it all from him, he does something crazy. He surpasses himself. Jaka Blazic. Fouled and Gobert swats it out of bounds. 
Watch this. This might just be the shot of the tournament. <laughs> oh, gosh. Pico Bear. I mean, the thing is, he, he has so much bravado that he's able to make that shot, knowing the shot clock's running down, but it's a normal shot for him. He doesn't when, feel... when you watch him in the gym and practice in warm-ups, he's shooting all these trick shots, deep shots. Look at this And fan. there it applies to the game. Coaches, it applies to the game. Let your guys shoot those trick shots for fun. Luka Doncic, Luka Doncic just do it in all, doing it all tonight. And that's probably his best shot, especially with the shot clock winding down. But he had the 36 last night. He might have 36 in the first half at this, at this rate. What he's doing is amazing. But again, this is a short-handed Slovenia team. Their strength is always a Doncic and Toby pick and roll. It's not available tonight. So they've got to find other ways to score, and Doncic is responding to that challenge. Is there a moment when uh, even the French coaches watch that and kind of enjoy it? I mean, you have to laugh at it, but at the same time, they have to be really pleased with where they are, with what Doncic is doing, 27 points to this point, and to be in a two-point, possibly three-point game, France has to be pleased. They just got to find a way uh, you know, to get over the hump here, put some plays together. Blazic scores his first two points of the game. Certainly, Okobo looks like he's gotten out of bed on the right side. Here's Gobert, and yes, the message is dunk it. Yeah, it's simple, roll and replace basketball, high, low. Well done for Coach Cole and the team there, and there's the dunk we're looking for from Gobert. Finish with authority at the rim. Dragic pulls up and even the lightning quick Albuquerque is not going to be able to stay with him. He's just so shifty. And it's important that other players are involved for Slovenia to keep the rhythm of the game for the whole team. Kobo, beautiful play from Elia Kobo. What is it about? One day to the next, it's hard to know what to predict, but Okobo has just been terrific. That's the beauty of a tournament. Multiple games, different guys step up, different situations. On the baseline, Dragic. And again, we've seen Slovenia establish the post through Dragic, a point guard. That is a very valuable weapon. He's just a really skillful finisher on the block in the post up. Fournier has to put up a difficult shot at the end of the shot clock. Dragic again. This time misses everything. Got to give Blazic Credit for his defensive effort for this team. He's took, taken on the best matchups in this in this group. And here, after the hot start from Fournier, Blazic is right there, matched up with him and giving great defensive effort every possession for Slovenia. So the crew chief going over and warning the Slovenia bench about flopping. So if it happens again, might see a technical. And the handle, look at Blazic hound Fournier. Fournier knows he's got to really be careful with the basketball. Oh, just knows how to 
do everything, but Mbai not able to catch the pass from Fournier. Great defensive effort, fantastic ball pressure, multiple efforts, and then even on the drive, they speed up Fournier, and Fournier delivers the ball, but it was in an uncatchable manner at the, in, at the rim in the lane. So they stay with him, and wow, he passes back outside the blockage, and he goes, <laughs> he goes up to shoot the three, and it goes through his hands. Doncic, fantastic job. They didn't switch. France really trying to have defensive discipline. Great late delivery, and then a blooper. Uh, I think Lizic is about to call a technical. He just told Doncic to go to the bench. Couldn't stop. They have just called a technical on the Slovenians. And it's on Luka Doncic, his second personal. So, the time, you know, there's enough talking, they will accept, but there comes a time when there's just a little too much, and you can't say they haven't been warned. Well, Jeff, you called it, you, you called out and pointed out the warning. They warned them, and you've got to know when to stop. That's not only for players, that's for coaches, that's for everyone involved. When the referees give you a warning, that's a clear indicator. It's time to stop now. He had one more thing to say. Bam, technical foul. And now Slovenia, their bench, and Doncic, everybody's looking like they're the victims when, you know, just play basketball. Bounce pass, Poirier, the handoff gets away again from Mbai. Poirier goes up. And the ball should be. Now, Doncic is going to be upset. Doncic is bleeding. Took an elbow to the head from Poirier. Well, it's a physical game, isn't it? Yeah, he definitely fouled Doncic coming over the back. So Doncic is going to lie down. They're going to see if there's an unsportsmanlike situation. We are watching upgrade act of violence. Camera below. Camera, okay. So let's see. Point of contact. It was on the head. But this was, for me, normal basketball movement. He's catching the ball and going down. Yeah. We get in this. Uh, let me ask you. This is hard, hard contact, excessive contact. In his try, in his effort to play the ball. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's go once again. So he's going down. Okay, contact, contact, contact is on the head. Yeah. Yeah. Can we see this in normal speed? Can we camera? see normal speed, main camera? Main camera? Yes, yes. main camera. Normal speed. This camera down here. Yes. Put it. Okay. For me, this is a hard contact. Hard contact. Okay. okay. He put the elbow. Okay. The hand, the hand. So act contact. of violence. Crying okay. Unsportsmanlike foul. Number 17. Two free throws. Number 77. Yes. Go. Number 77. Two free throws. Two free throws. Okay. In the time. Go. Go. 38.9. Yes. Okay, well, you heard it. They're going to call the unsportsmanlike. 
on Poirier. So two free throws. And there's Lucas' father watching this here, working with Slovenia Television. Watch again. So, oh. Well, the contact issue, there's no doubt there was contact. So Gulich wanting the foul called. Now, and I think with uh, Doncic getting, you know, they review it. I thought at first they weren't going to call it because I heard it's a normal basketball move, but and you now, heard the explanation. Now Doncic not available to shoot the free throws. The Chancho, Chancho, yeah, off Chancho. the bench. So that takes it up to four, and if they score again, it'll be a big trip down the floor. Prepolich, it looks good. Oh, rims out. And Giga Dimets battling for the basketball, commits the foul. So Kobo and France with the last shot they at least anticipate, and Doncic presumably will be back in the second half. Guess he's already gone to the locker room, hasn't he? Yes. So Ertel, Mbai for three, and they took it maybe a tad early. Blazic puts it up, and off the back of the iron. Well, there's a, a lively encounter, and Slovenia lead it 44-40 over France at halftime. Shooting statistics, field goal percentage 54% for France, but when you look at the three-point numbers, five for 14 for Slovenia, five for eight, for Luka Doncic, France out rebounding Slovenia, and again, 13 assists to five. Here's Doncic single handedly leading Slovenia, 27 points in the game. Unbelievable first half. It really was. And really, some good moves from France as well Fournier, Okobo, the like. And Fournier is just a, an offensive juggernaut. But not, not the same juggernaut that number 77 is for Slovenia. But, you know, watching this game, you, you, you see where France are going to have their chances to get to the podium in this tournament. Without a doubt. They're, they're playing well. They're competitive. They've weathered this Doncic storm. See if they can become a little bit more efficient offensively and find a way to get a few more defensive stops here. I'm just amazed at Luka Doncic, the way he impacts different games differently. Yeah. That versatility of talent is something special. Yeah, not as many rebounds tonight, but more assists and more scoring. We saw more assists from him earlier in the tournament. But he can, you know, he can guard different, you know, any number of players. The fact that he's such a great ball handler and passer, though, is what's so amazing. And the shot making is incredible. You know, the thing about Doncic is his size allows you to cross match with him easily. We've seen him guard wings. We've seen him guard four men. He's a great defensive rebounder. He's able to switch a lot of screens defensively. So even though he may not be the best defender, you can hide him. And he, he just is able to make adjustments on the fly at the last second, make a great pass, decide to take the shot. The size and strength to deliver the ball with a late delivery. 
the size to see over the defense and make passes, the length to have passing angles and right hand, left hand. But again, it's important for Slovenia that it doesn't become a one-man show. Right, as you, you say that when you watch Dragic, There's, you know what he can bring to the table. And again, we see five for 14 from three, but five for eight from Luka Doncic. The rest of the team has potential to impact this game as well as we see Doncic going back to the locker room earlier before the half ended. So it's 44 for Slovenia, 40 for France at halftime. Seconds for the Dutch. And it's Williams who's going to heave it though from. Oh! oh God, he beats the buzzer. The execution to perfection. Well, goes a nutmeg. Oh, baby! Well, oh, is that a stanky? Made the nutmeg pass, and Willie Hernan Gomez just threw it down. And now the break, 4-1. And Ortel gets swatted by the trailer, Adich. There's Gobert coming in and swatting Halilovic. And Gobert just kind of sidesteps Nurkic for the two. Chance here to cut it down to seven. She likes the matchup. Nice pass. Incredible feed down the baseline with full vision, awareness, and execution of Denny out there. Not too oh, nice steal. To make a difference in this group, but Schwarzer takes it away. Hey! And a punishing Polska pile driver from Balsarowski. AJ Slaughter, another highlight. Showtime from Poland. He turns it over. It's a little messy, but Kalathis will keep it. What a pass. Back Throw that one down. And one, baby. Gave the look and the back door. Look at this. Nick Kalathis right on the money. The Finn fans have brought here to Prague, and they've certainly played their part. And Lowry Markkinen slams oh, the door. And Harry! Oh, the Susi Yangi star soars on both backboards. Yeah, you can see that one coming. That's why they call him the finisher.
Luka Doncic once again putting on a show for Slovenia, 27 points, 8 of 12 from the floor, five three-pointers, and well beyond his average for this tournament. Of course, don't know how to interpret that because he had 36 last night. Obviously, so his average went up quite a bit, but he's done it all tonight. And again, it's it's great theater. It's what the fans want to see. And it can be good for Slovenia. But again, as you alluded to, Mike, it can't just be all Luka Doncic. You know, I think that was why Slovenia were so good last year is because he raised the level of everyone. But again, as we said in the first half, the absence of Mike Toby takes away their primary pick and roll actions, which they're so excuse me so good at, and that also opens up other opportunities for their players to get shots. So, you know, again, it's going to be a situation where they've got to find ways to incorporate the rest of the team. They'll definitely play through Luca, as we see Evan Fournier, who got off to the really hot start, eight points in the first quarter. They need more scoring from Evan. But in general, let's see how Luca responds to the hit to the head, uh, to the to the cut. Has he does he have stitches? Can he return? What are the circumstances coming out of halftime here? And again, Fournier, I think yeah, Fournier with those eight points uh, in France, obviously right in it. Those you've got points. to be happy if you're France. Make a few adjustments and see if you can turn the game your way. They've, they've run a lot of triple screens, slice action triple screens to start the game for Fournier. Then they went into high-low actions trying to get the ball to, Fournier, to Gobert in the post. Let's see what Coach Collet comes up with here in the second half to create some opportunities for his players. So all the players run through their warm-ups before the second half, and it's quite funny when a lot of times when you look at social media and Dallas Mavericks tweeting out, if you're not watching Doncic right now, you should be, because he's their guy. And uh, somebody else tweeting, man, right now it seems like the, you know what, is underrated. I mean, how can he be underrated? He's like the most hyped player in the world, yet he just keeps surpassing the hype. Well, what you love about what Luca has done is he's, recognize the situation within the team and how he can impact the game and he has the ability to do many many things on the court last night he knew he needed to drive to the basket and hit tough shots he did it today he gets his three-point shot going just scoring in different ways doing different things Rudy Gobert with the seven points three of three and again with, with the French front line you know there could be some foul trouble here in the second half that impacts the Slovenia front line and forces them to play small. And then can this French front line capitalize on that moment? We'll see if that materializes. I'm expecting that when Doncic does come out, there will be like a lot of applause because right now he has not, but I would assume that he will be. Everybody's kind of waiting still another three minutes. And Goran Dragic, four points, two of eight from the floor, two of seven. Seems like he needs to be playing at his best for the Slovenia team to have a chance to, to get to the top. Well, again, the if we don't have Doncic in the second half, then Dragic needs to become that primary playmaker and driving force for the offense. We've seen him try to establish the post. We can see him try to play some pick and roll, but he's been outstanding in transition. And we'll see if he can. Well, he's coming out now. And you can see the crowd. The crowd favorite has returned. And Jeff, let's not call it Willis Reed <laughs> and the Knicks at the Garden, but meaningful that he's back out here for layup lines to start the second half. Yeah. So our man on the spot, Hans, just uh, came up and told us indeed that Luca did get a couple of stitches. So 
Must have been a cut that was deep enough that required that, but kind of comes around with playing basketball no matter where you are. You're going to get the odd little scratch. Well, he was so hot in that first half and in such a zone. Let's see how the halftime break and the hit, the stitches, the whole situation. Let's see how he can respond and, and play in the second half. Again, he'll need to be at his best for Slovenia to close this out, get this win, and finish first place in the group. Funny, he came out and just took like one shot or two shots and now he's headed over to the bench. So He's ready. He's ready when he gets out of bed in the morning. He's ready when he walks into the arena. And everybody is certainly ready to watch him. There he is. Johnny on the spot. Hey folks, scanning the barcode to get the PB Eurobat basket app and uh, have it at your fingertips for all the news, results, scores, scheduling information. It's a great resource in this uh, 2022 where everybody has apps and whatnot. I really enjoy the app. You can compare teams head to head. You can find out all kinds of st statistics at home. Find out background information on players. Do your own research for this FIBA Eurobasket Group B. Second half underway in Cologne, Germany, between France and Slovenia. Slovenia leading it 44-40. Luka Doncic is back. He did. I have a slight cut that he needed a couple of stitches at halftime, but he is back following uh, Vincent Poirier coming over his back on that offensive rebound. And the ball knocked away. It'll stay at this end. So Start. remember, Slovenia wins. They clinch first place. If France win and Germany lose to Hungary later tonight, they would be uh, in first place. Starting the game, the second half, the way they started the first half. A baseline triple screen for Fournier. Again, passing up some open shots, got them into some trouble. 24 second shot clock violation. So here's the man of the moment, Luka Doncic, guarded by Terry Tarpe of France. And again, Dragic, and how much can Dragic get involved in this effort tonight? There's Doncic coming out and missing the first, his shot. And now Rudy Gobert reacted when a foul wasn't called, and now he's been slapped with a technical. Watch this. Yep. Probably was fouled, and they are not gonna. They are not gonna call the tech. No, they are. Okay, so Doncic goes. Excuse me, uh, Dragic goes and makes the free throw. Really well designed play there from Coach Sakulic. A flare screen for Luca. Lob and Rudy Gobert now seems to be a little upset. And that's the response you want. Channel your emotions into the game. Great pass from Fournier. Strong finish from Gobert. Oh. Same action. Doncic with 27 points to lead all scores. He had 36 last night in their win. 
the win over Germany. Ball goes out of bounds. It's hard to believe we're, you know, it was just last night that he was out here taking on the world, basically Germany and really going at Schroeder. And now he's got another team to try to tear apart. He's got Tarpe on his back and just another Lucas shot. The ability to take contact, create space, and hit tough shots. Something special. And likewise, Fournier gets the defense on his back and drives in and scores with the left hand. And again, underrated part of the play is Gobert creating traffic in the lane. Fournier slicing to the basket. Great finish. Nice teamwork. Oh, nice pass to Blazic. Good offense for Slovenia. Still looking for that other teammate first three-pointer make of the game. Demetz takes it away from Fournier of all people. And Blazic goes in as fouled by Fournier. You can't sleep on the Slovenia defense. None of them. They will pick your pocket. Hard show, pick and roll cover. Oh, it's actually not a hard show. This was the play before. Weaving to the basket, traffic. You can see Gobert here, the lob dunk. Top pick and roll Gobert and Evan Fournier. Again, Dimec wasn't a hard show. He poked the ball loose. And we've seen Blazic try to finish with that extension several plays. So Mike Toby watching. He's not playing tonight after rolling his ankle last night. And the likewise, no Gershon Yabaseli from France. Both those guys are hugely important for their national teams. Closet just two points in the first half. He's been key every game. Such an important part of this team. His defensive effort is really something special. Gets both to go, so Slovenia stretch their lead once again to five points. Tarpe in the right corner, out of the sea, back to Fournier. And Fournier goes hunting, and Tarpe is fouled as he goes up by Demetz or Doncic. Take your pick. If it's Doncic, that's his third. No, it is Demetz. I like the idea behind the French attack right now. Get the ball to Fournier. Let him make some plays and pick and roll at the top of the key. That was a Spain pick and roll action, and he attacked the closeout well. Excellent effort on the boards from Tarpe. Another effort play from Tarpe. Gets both to drop. Tarpe didn't even know if he was going to make the team. And they've included him, and he's uh, been well worth it. Here's Doncic turning around. And now Fournier, open floor. Bear. Comes it back off to Fournier. And there is Gobert keeping it alive. And Goran Dragic up. And Tarpe kicks it to stop the break. The one positive for Slovenia defensively with Dimec out there is they can play the hard show pick and roll coverage and impact the point of attack. And this especially will be important now with Hertel coming into the game because he can get those shots. So that's a positive despite missing the key player, Toby. Seems to be kind of a 
Well, I guess it's probably relishing the challenge to facing Slovenia for Ertel. Here's Doncic gets in. Chanchar. And Tomar Ertel chases it. Tarpe beats him to the basketball. Finds his teammate and bye for the dunk. The hustle of Terry Tarpe wins it again for France. And this time Fournier clatters bodies with Doncic. Both players being helped up. It's only the second foul on Fournier. Just guys going down, that's all. Every play has a little bit of drama to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, just take your time, milk it a little bit, get the crowd into it. Again, this is a nice substitution from Sasha Sakulic here. Blazic gives such tremendous defensive effort, and now Zoran Dragic can come in in a similar role and maintain that defensive intensity. Doncic stops and pops. Puts down his left hand. Must have uh, must be feeling some pain there. Doesn't affect his ability to score. Here's Gobert. Scoring with the left hand. That was impressive. Again, they're hard showing in attracting that short roll. Doncic again. Starting to pick it up. 33 points. Fournier to Gobert. Nice handoff. Again, they share it. Gobert was telling Tarpe he should shoot it. Hotel over to Tarpe for three. And the third foul on Fournier. You like that call? Watch. Well, here's the play in transition. Such beautiful touch and ability to score. Again, you see here the little pull-up fade from the nail, creating different shots in the mid-range. It's so tough because as you try to guard him, he changes speeds and handles the ball so well at his size. He's crafty, shifty. And that time, again, he got into the body of Fournier. Fournier got in that foul position. Easy call for the official. Edomuric. And that's more like it. Ironically, with yeah. all the great three-point shooters on this team, Edomuric steps up and hits it. But like they say, all it takes is one. Let's see how that impacts the rest of the team. Gobert to Ertel, quickly downloaded, and by Pompey. Oh, they're going to say shot clock violation. France, we're looking for a foul. He had the pump fake, but did he have time to do the pump fake? Still a six point game here, Jeff. France needs to focus their energy on this next defensive stop. Looks like they're subbing. Preplic is coming in for Doncic. Looks like he has a cut or some blood or something. Yeah, he's been looking down at his hand like he had an injury. Dragic slips. And now Ertel opportunistically takes it away. Might be some moisture on the court there. Gobert, look out. Great play, Rudy Gobert. Again, 
that's really impressive for Gobert in that short roll situation. Slovenia is counting on him not being able to make those plays, and he's responding. Prepolic. Oh, he gets rejected by Rudy Gobert. Gobert asserting himself on both ends. First block of the night. Thought he already had one, but. Seeing the sight of Prepolic driving against France and having his shot block will bring back memories of the Olympics, perhaps. Timeout. Rudy Gobert going to work, banking that with the left hand. I didn't realize his angle was such that he had very little angle there to get that off the backboard. He's doing a great job here knowing there's no rim protection in the game for Slovenia, and he can use his size and length, their little step through, and this is what he's known for. Impacting the game on defense. Three time defensive player of the year. Taking his talents elsewhere out of Utah to Minnesota. And it will be really interesting to see how the combination of Colbert and Carl Anthony Towns play this, uh, this year in the NBA. The size and length in that front court is something special. What a combination. It's going to be cold up there. Here's Prepolich. You like the confidence there. So back to Embai. Much better for Embai. And France keeping the heat on Slovenia. Trailing by just one. And then Dragic loses it out of bounds. So look at the lineup we have on the floor right now. Dragic, Dragic, Prepolic, Muric, and Doncic. Again, undersized as they were in the second quarter. Muric on Gobert. Doncic on inbound. Boy, Tom Hurtel puts France in front. Doncic. And traveling is the call on Doncic. He was Knew the contact was coming. There was contact. Got an angry reaction to the call, but anyway. Luca tried to initiate the contract and, contact and create space with Gobert. Gobert stood his ground. Got to be careful. He's already got one technical. He can't afford another, or he'll go. Martel, great D. Edu Murich had his hands up, but Embai goes in and misses the dunk. Well, that would have been sensational for France. Doncic, and that's a four point swing. And the alley -oop. and that's how you throw it down for France. Rudy Gobert. Hotel is having himself quite a game now. Seven assists to go to seven points. I don't think Luau Cabarro wants any of that. And the foul called on Luau Cabarro. Well, nope, that's all right. Throwing different players at Dolchin for making them work. This is Hertel, the lob. And Gobert with that. Increased his tally to 15 points. And then this is Doncic. Earlier on, banking it in.
Guessing you must be the most popular athlete in Slovenia. <laughs> Makes the first. Ties his 36 from last night with that free throw. Wow. <laughs> so he's going to set a new record for a Slovenia player at a Phoebe Euro basket. Which he does by making that free throw. 37 points. Back to back night of incredibleness. Kobo had a great first half. See if he can impact the game. Slovenia picking up the D. Ertel to the corner, in by a scrap. And in the open floor is Dragic, Zoran Dragic. Then he falls over. Kobo is fouled by Moritz. Four fouls. And Moritz is upset with Zoran Dragic. Maybe about calming down. Controlling the tempo, perhaps. Sixty to fifty-nine, Slovenia up by one. One player who doesn't seem really hot-headed in that Slovenia team is Chanchar. Have you noticed that? He's on Gobert right now. So Dragic called for a hold. Embiid's going to come out. Carpe's coming back in, and Dragic picks up another foul. In fact, his first foul. Gobert and uh, Edo Murray stepped in, took it away. Look at the pace of Dragic, the dragon! Outstanding transition, great finish, big basket. Luawu Kabaru. Oh, he gets it to go. I don't think these guys are going to be sending each other Christmas cards. Now Dragic. Baseline again. So, Jeff, the last few possessions here with this hard show, there's no impact on the ball. Chanchar's got to reroute the basketball. Hertel's just flying by him and it's allowing them to continue to attack and look at that Dragic the second gives that good a possession forces the turnover oh great block from a gobo but they call a goal interference I guess maybe it hit the backboard already what an effort from a kobo I don't know what he had for breakfast but boy he should stick with that because he's been sensational Ooh. Looks like a decent. What a block. Is that not good? Ooh, what a block. But again, he hit the rim. Goran Dragic coming up with a steal. They hit Gobert on the short roll, and he has that awareness and skill to pick it and create defense, create offense from the defense. Now Samar has come into the game for Goran Dragic. Yeah, that's where that's where Goran Dragic has really changed things for Slovenia in this tournament. His disruptive play, his defense. And once again, Samar this time picks up the foul. A bit frustrating because he says he got hit in the head, in the face. Carpe, final seconds, ticking off, gets it to Kobo. Luawu Cabarro back to Kobo. Good! Well, I mean, I don't know how many times I have to say it. This is a different Kobo tonight. We haven't seen this at the Phoebe Eurobasket, and it's an exciting development for France, who, with that jump shot, that three, look at the patience. 
they had just enough time to tie the game. At the end of three exciting quarters, we're all square 64 64, France and Slovenia. France 57 to 47, field goal percentage advantage. Now France with seven out of 19 from three, creep ahead in three point makes. Akobo with 11 points in 12 minutes tonight. He is making a massive impact. Really important off the bench. And this was the throw down from Mbai, did miss one. And that was a very tough make from Rudy. Doncic has established a new record tonight, 37 points for Slovenia in the Eurobasket. With everything happening right now, if you're France, I think you gotta be pleased with where you are. You've, again, managed the great offensive performance from Doncic, and you're in a tie game starting the fourth quarter. Now let's see if they can raise their defensive effort. Scanning the barcode to get courtside, 1891. And your smartphones. Doncic rolling in. The fact that he's your go-to low post scorer is so impressive. Oh, the drive and Luawo Cabarro was contact, but no foul. And now Chanchar, great hustle. And what a finish from Chanchar. Beautiful ball ahead pass, great catch and finish in traffic. Carpe into the corner again, Luawu Cabarro. Great effort by Gobert and Okobo, and it's gonna get it back for France. What hustle from Okobo. I mean, both guys, Zoran Dragic as well there, diving after the ball. Look at this play. Up ahead to Chanchar, he catches it, and in the process of being uh, a little bit of a hit there from Tarpe, still able to catch it in the same motion, put up and score. You see these passes from Doncic. Maybe you also see them from Kalathis in from Greece. But these ball ahead passes in transition just are so inspiring for your teammates to run the floor and keep that tempo fast break. See so many Maverick jerseys here, Dallas Mavericks because of Doncic and of course the legend Dirk Nowitzki and Tarpe! Well, he is just having the tournament of his life. He's now got eight points, the guy that wasn't even supposed to be in the France team. Come one of their best players, Edo Muric. And Tarpe with the rebound. Four rebounds to go with his eight points, two assists, and of course, his specialty defense. Spain pick and roll action again. Tarpe lose, or Hurtel lost control. Zoran Dragic this time deflecting the ball, creating the turnover.
is Carpe. Boy, this this experience is going to be massive for him going into next season. He is going to be one confident player. Now Dragic and the foul on Ertel. Lithuania earlier today booking their spot in the next round, winning convincingly as Yabaselli unable to play tonight. Looking looking on. Here's a steal. Luau Cabarro. Just didn't come close to finishing that. And now Dragic. And he's fouled. Nope. A charge. And it's a Kobo that drew it. Second foul, Dragic. Well, took one for the team, Elia Kobo, having his best game and outside the keyway there. So Lithuania beating Bosnia and Herzegovina to advance, and also Belgium winning their game against Bulgaria. So they've punched their ticket in the next round. Here's a Kobo. I think he likes his matchup against Chanchar. Steps back, puts it up, and this time missed everything after all the buildup. We see Doncic do these step back jump shots and makes it look easy that the step back against a big in a mismatch advantage situation is, I mean, that's not an easy shot. So shoulder fist call, Spain pick and roll action coming here. Doncic gets the bump and he is going to the line and add one. How many times has he asked for a foul on his made layups or jumpers and he finally gets one. And then he shows everybody to Slovenia on his jersey. Albasi called for the foul. And now the chance once again of MVP for the superstar Doncic. Forty-two points for Luka Doncic. He needs every one of them. Carpe loses it as he goes up, feels the bodies. Murdich for three. Hey, it's the second time Edo Murdich has drilled a three pointer. And that forces France to call timeout. Today's three point shooting for Slovenia five for Luca, two for Edo. Big shots when it matters the most for Edo March. away from the year basket record of 63 points but he surpassed Giannis Antetokounmpo who had 41 in the year basket game so I think not that it matters but could get to 50 that'll get people talking he's doing whatever it, his team needs scoring in whatever ways he can 
making up for the absence of Toby. Well, that's a hold on Don, on uh, Jordan Dragic, putting his arms all over Fournier. Yeah, he hugged him out there. Looked like he wanted to do some type of uh, dance, perhaps, at midcourt. <laughs> That's definitely when a coach says, get into the body, that's the way you do it. Just give the guy a big hug. Ooh. So Bear, back out, look at it. Kobos to the corner. France wants a three, but they're gonna have to, oh, well, they will take the three. And a Kobo not able to get the drop. Another shot made by Dragic. Cole, a little hot under the collar. A little trash talking here as Cole slapped with a technical foul. few MVP chants there for Goran. A few fans remember yeah, 2017. Yep, yeah, that's probably what they're referring to. Because we know who the candidate hey, is on the Slovenia they're, team. They're giving him his respect. That's yes. a nice thing. It was uh, Belgium's Terrace that had the 63. Here is Mbai for three. That was right on cue. Gets it back to a seven-point game. Plenty of time for friends. The great Nikos Gallus of Greece had 46 and 45 points. Berkowitz from Israel. Here we go. And another three. He has equaled Nikos Gallus' 45 points that he scored back in 1989 with that shot. And I dare say he's going to beat Gallus' 46 that he had in 1983. Look at this. You can't have a bigger, more athletic challenge than Rudy Gobert. There's the step back, the release, and it's money in the bank. For not the first time, he has shot it over the Prince Biggs tonight. It was Poirier in the first half. When he's got it going on, what do you do? What an event. What a night. The lucky ones that are here are watching a little bit of history, really, with Doncic. The challenge is for this Slovenia team to keep getting better. That's the, that's the main challenge. It's, and it's, as long as they're doing that, it doesn't matter what Doncic does. Without a doubt. And here you have a game to win the group and you're short-handed, and Luca responds like this. And to Gobert, and Gobert scores. I mean, it's not like France are playing badly, although don't forget they're also short-handed tonight. Is that Yabaselli? Yeah, and Gobert has done very nice things in that short roll situation, being able to finish. The Kobo on Doncic. Edo Muric will be his third three, not this time, but Chanchar with the rebound. Now they spread the floor. Chanchar into the corner. Edo Muric misses everything. Well, back to what we say. If you're France, you can live with him shooting the three-pointer. He's got confidence because of his makes today that's a great thing for him for Slovenia but again France will live with that Evan Fournier drives in and banks it in and don't look now folks but here come France so again when you're going to hard show the pick and roll you've got to reroute the basketball and stop the ball 
whether it's been Hertel or Fournier, they have not done an effective job of it. He turns the corner and gets to the rim. Montic, able to get rid of it, and here comes Dragic, explodes and oh. scores over Gobert. And the charge, they've wiped it off. And Gobert feeling it. Looks like he got hit where it hurts. And Fournier now appealing for an unsportsman. Like, watch this. Oh. Well, he de we definitely know where he got it. But the question I have is, Gobert looks like he's in the keyway. He's right under the rim. Under the basket. Under the basket camera, please. Normal speed. Okay, please. Okay, once again. One more time to see the contact. And Point of contact. Play yes. I think this is basketball play. Look, look, he goes. No. This is not basketball play. This is not basketball play. This is unsportsmanlike like Go foul. directly with the knee. Not with the yes. knee. Contact is not with the knee. With yeah, the, no, no, with but the he's leg, going directly. in for me. He's yes, going yes. into the balls of the fist player. So, unsportsmanlike like foul number three. 27, two free throws. And position. And, and the time is... Time, I want to see four, time, 4-10. No. So, four, again, nine. Four, again, nine. just here, what? Number okay. three, number, number three, three is the foul. Number three. Ask for a like foul. Seems a bit harsh on Dragic. Gobert was in the keyway. And there are players that will, as you were telling me, all off mic, like Nowitzki, for example. So players try to take space. And one of the ways guards or bigs will try to take space is by extending their arm, or in this case, extending his leg. Inadvertent contact, he hit him in a tough spot, but there's no real charge play there. It's a straight up challenge at the rim. Now they call the unsportsmanlike foul. And then the Slovenia bench will say, the ball does not lie. Right. The basketball guys. Two missed free throws from Gobert can't capitalize on the opportunity. But it's also worth saying all these things even out over the course of Without the game, Without a right? doubt. And, and they're challenging calls for every official. Gobert! Oh! Well, Rudy Gobert makes his decision and renders it. Wow. He's not done. Wow. Edo Muric. And for some reason, Muric, he's missed his last three threes. And he's got one of the best players in the world on his team. He needs to put up a few more shots. Ertel. Chanchar comes up and such a big Doncic avoids it. And here goes Dragic. Gets it to Doncic. That would have brought the house down. Had it gone in. Four point game, three minutes to go. Fournier. Back to Mbai. Out to Ertel for three. Good! Give France credit. They're not going away. And again, you go back to the miss three from Edo Muric. Is that the offense they really want? You know, it's it's a situation where he's got the confidence to shoot the ball. Is that the best thing for them? Maybe they need to make the extra pass and get the ball back to Luka or Goran. And maybe Coach Sikulic will talk about that right now. Well, look at this play. 
Rudy Gobert. And it should be said, he put Doncic on a poster with that one. And you want to talk about Watch this above again. the rim. I wow. Mean, Doncic was not even close to blocking that. This is what you definitely call a tower of power, Rudy Gobert. And Ertel then goes down and knocks down an open three. It's game on. France closed the gap to one. Did seem like a tough call, though, that was on Goran Dragic. So now, Slovenia, get the shots that you want. Work together, teamwork for good shots. Get the shots that you want, whether that's from Doncic, Dragic, get what you want here offensively. Into the corner, Chanchar. Boy, this perimeter game is just dried up. Oh, Fournier goes down. Oh, amazing play by Fournier. He's able to get back up a little long with his attempt. And now over to Dragic. And he's pushed by Okobo. Slovenia up one, 2.25 to play, winning time possessions. And now it looks like they'll review for an unsportsmanlike foul Monacobo from behind. For not playing the ball. Well, you know what they say? What comes around goes around. We are watching upgrade any time from personal to unsportsmanlike -like call. Okay, give me this camera here. Okay. Go. It was with his go back. So, blue, yes, go. Contact was here, you see? Uh, left leg contact with the number zero in behind. So this is, go here, that one, go, go. This was point of contact was left leg of the blue player with the left leg of okay. the zero. Okay. So yeah, accidentally, normal. yes, normal. I think, uh, yes, normal. normal. Stay, Stay with, with normal. normal. Confirm, normal foul. Yeah, that was the right call, wasn't it? Yeah, inadvertent contact. And here's Slovenia, 22 seconds on the shot clock, sideline inbound. They'll bring Moritz to the top. Doncic in the left corner, guarded by Fournier. Wrestling match. WWE and. The referee says to calm down, everybody. And Fournier says, it's not me that's wrestling, it's Doncic. <laughs> Tough break for France on that one, but bigger Doncic, maybe. Makes it look like Fournier is the one that's wrestling. And he makes the first free throw, and guess what? 46 points now, so. He has indeed equaled Nikos Gallus's 46 point mark against Sweden in 1983. And now he is second time, all time, with 47 points behind Belgium's Terrace back in 1957. Fournier. What a finish! Are you kidding me? Kind of twisting in the air is a tough shot. Gordon Dragic trying to draw a charge. Dragic just has to stay still in that situation. You can see him sliding his feet at the last minute, square it up, and take the charge. Great play by Fournier. So Slovenia up one, but we might be tied here if he makes this free throw. And he does. So Fornia goes to 15 points, and it's all square. 82 apiece. If France win, and then Germany lose to Hungary in the last game, France will clinch first place. 
If Slovenia win, they clinch first place in the group. Doncic. Fournier again into the corner. Over to Okobo. Oh, look at Dragic. He picks his pocket like only Goran Dragic can and lays it up and in. That is just dominating a player, a ball handler. Gosh. Ertel pulls up. Still a two-point game. France, calm down, focus, get your defensive stop. Let's see if Luka can come through here in winning time. MVP chance once again. Doncic. And it goes. Tenchar for a two, and Slovenia by four points. The unselfishness of Luka Doncic to drive into the paint, kick it out, Zoran Dragic extra pass, and Chanchar, who has not shot the ball great today, attacks the closeout and hits the tough pull-up jump shot. Big bucket for Slovenia. Big game, 47 points, seven rebounds, five assists. But I got to tell you, for me, the play of the game is Goran Dragic stealing the ball from mid from Ilya Kobo at mid court and going in for the for the layup. Yeah, and he's done that several times in several games. Again, that's part of who he is: creating offense from defense, pokes the ball loose, and makes the big play. Tell. Oh, Akobo. And Rudy Gobert kept it alive. Here's Dragic. Chases it down. They're in no rush. Ooh, needs to watch his elbows. Akobo. And they call a five second call on Dragic. Luau Cabarro looking on. 22 here. seconds here. You could put Terry Tarpe in now, but I guess France realized it's almost game up, but they still got a little bit of opportunity here. Four points, 22 seconds. I would not be surprised whatever happens the rest of the way. Fournier. And Dragic takes it away. And Dragic goes in. France complaining about the foul, about a foul. Fournier pulls up. Misses. And Slovenia with their defense. They have held on to win. They clinch first place in Group B. And 88-82 win over France. So the team shake hands. What a battle that was. Amazing, really, performance. I mean, it was both teams already knew they were going through. I think from a psychological edge standpoint, this is a really important game between these two teams. And Slovenia wanting to beat the team that knocked them off in the semifinals last year at the Olympics. Just an incredible performance. Doncic, obviously, with the 47 points, Mike. 
Yeah, that's the key number here. Doncic, 47 points. You know, we saw a special performance here from Luka. It's a great team win for Slovenia, but what Luka Doncic did, the three-point shooting, the scoring, without Mike Toby, shorthanded to, to get this team win and win this group. Fantastic finish to this Cologne Group B for Slovenia. The next accomplishment for this core, great run last summer to the Olympics, now winning this group here. And again, you gotta like their chances as they move forward, considering they have a, a healthy Mike Toby, the team's at 100% as we move forward to Berlin. Well, the MVP was no doubt Doncic. The Dragic certainly came out when the game was on the line and made the play of the game for my money. The Dragic. 14 points, four assists, four rebounds, and I'm pretty sure he had two steals to go along with that. Two steals. Maybe, maybe if you're talking about anything tonight where Slovenia need to get better, it has to maybe a little bit more balance in that team and not be so reliant on Doncic. But he had the uh, he had the remarkable game tonight. Well, I think the, the thing about that, Jeff, as you see the team celebrate with their fans here, wonderful respect to all the Slovenian fans that made the effort to come out and support the team. But, you know, a lot of the way they create shots for their team is through Luka Doncic playing pick and roll with Mike Toby. Without Mike Toby there, there's no real roll, man. We saw some smaller lineups. Again, this was about Doncic's scoring and he really made plays. Well, it's a, it's a modern, I, I guess it's the modern era record because it's 47 points. The previous was back in the 1950s, the 63 points. And Jeff, he did it on 23 shots. That's it. 47 points, 23 shots. 11 of 12 from the line. And that's been a problem, a little bit of a problem for him in this Eurobasket. It's free throw shooting, but it wasn't tonight. I would think that France are going to are going to have be feeling much better about their Eurobasket after this performance. They were good. I mean, they were solid. They really, you know, they were missing some key pieces. This yeah, team is this team has come together, and again, they've gotten themselves through to the next round and let's see you know how their matchups are in the knockout round well another MVP award for Doncic tonight and just a great basketball game as you look at the highlights here at the end Gordon Dragic again just wasn't his offense I, I hope we see that this is the play no it wasn't the steal and the fast break. Oh, yeah, no, so that's still to come. And by played a lot of minutes tonight with Yabuselli out. How about that dunk from Rudy Gobert, Gobert? You know, did a lot of good things this in those one. short rolls. And here he is above the rim. Look at this. Ooh. Boy, the fans are getting their money's worth at this uh, tournament, aren't they? And this, this is the type of performance that people expect out of Luka Doncic it's something special it doesn't happen every game this shot was incredible from Fournier I mean twisting in the lane under pressure again respectable effort out and here this was the play of the game yes. for me yes So here is uh, what's happened so far. Lithuania punching their ticket for the next round, winning 87-80 over Bosnia and Herzegovina. France falling now to Slovenia, 88-82. And Germany and Hungary will trade blows in the last game of the day. Slovenia assured a first place. France now, they are in second, but they're going to drop because uh, they lost their head-to-head -to, -head to Germany. And... Uh, of course, uh, one more to go today. So they came here tonight to entertain, but perhaps to gain a psychological edge over their opponents since both teams had already 
clinch their progression to the next phase. And, uh, well, France battled until the end, but it was Slovenia that scraped a six-point win.